Going for a rip. Going for a rip. Weirdo. Probably not going to use that. No, probably not going to use that. Taking the Yamaha today. That's not going anywhere, eh? Nice. Got some stickers for you. Get those out. There they are. Yeah. Powered by DirtyLife.ca for all your aftermarket ATV and UTV needs. Get dirty. So today we're doing a little bit of uh, prairie riding. Didn't think it could be done, but apparently there's actually a few trails out here. It makes for an easy Sunday cruise. Jason's gonna show me around. See how this goes. <laughs> I saw some cool stuff on the way in. We'll take Mama Bear for a spin today. <laughs> there is a little honey hole down here. Oh, oh my god! Interesting. I'm having a bit of an issue here. to sort that out. I'm gonna come around. Um, yeah, but come here. You have to back out. I'm having a throttle issue. <coughs> I obviously turned this up too high. What is that about? I can't stop it from doing that for some reason. That's freaking weird. You want me to pull you out and then? Yeah, let's uh, let's start with that. <laughs> oh, what a weird start. Let's see if we can figure this out. Where do you want it? Oh, should be able to go the rock. Yeah. Yeah, she's backfiring pretty good. It's driving on its own now. issues. Oh, 
Holy. Something is way not right with you. Well, we figured out our issue. We tore it all apart and it was an air fuel problem. So I thought it was the tuner, but it was the other way around. It was actually the throttle body. The whole boot is off the throttle body right now. So we haven't ridden this since it was rebuilt by Proline. So I don't know what happened there, but we literally haven't moved this thing. And the moment I got into that hole, everything just kind of gave up. So it's never been under load or anything like that. So that's definitely an issue we have to sort out. Uh, if you can see that. But uh, that's not supposed to be like that. So it's getting way too much air and then the sensor's probably telling it to pile up the fuel and that's why you smelt all the rich, rich yep. fuel coming out. My hard earned money. Let's see if we can fix it and give it a run. <laughs> it took some pretty serious MacGyvering, but uh, I used this as a pry bar, tightened this uh, Allen key with a Gerber um, and then I had Buddy leverage it down and we had to look around and we got her done, but that was a problem. We just ran it, ran like a dream, and uh, yeah, no check engine light or anything anymore. So it did its job, I guess, in warning me. So it should run like a top. Just got to slam this back together. It might actually get some writing done. But uh, you Yamaha folks who say it's completely reliable, never let you down. Well, it let me down today. And typical, Honda had to save me, so. Okay, oh. no check engine, idling like a dream, I put my basic tune back in, okay, I don't need four wheel, that's for sure, okay, it feels a lot more normal now. first hole is not good for anyone, considering how bad I was high centered. I'm wondering if I can get around it. What do you think? I think it might be possible. Look at that, I can shift and everything. Oh yeah, this is going to be... Uh, Interesting. Haha. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if he's going to go for that part. The straight axle kind of screws him. Yeah, okay. Gotta hit these with more speed. Oh, there we go. See, now that's the mama bear that I know. It's not really a speed game with this kind of quad anyway, but pretty tricky little area. Probably doesn't translate well on camera, but Jason's stuck. Let's see if I can get around to him. <laughs> oh, that's neutral. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get hung up on that, but whatever.
Oh, uh, he might need a tree. I don't like doing this. It's not the way you're supposed to do that. So. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. <sighs> this is slightly awkward. That's a tree. <laughs> okay, let's get in the groove here. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's the mama bear that I know. Okay, go over the rim, that's fine. That looks like a half decent pull right there. better day. Yeah, we'll go down here. Okay. Yeah, GoPros never do it justice, but there's some decent angles we're playing with. Crawls, boy. Don't really have a choice, just follow the ruts, I guess. It's kind of weird that it's always on one side. Bunch of unlocked diffs, I guess. There! I'm really glad she's running right now. I'm gonna make fun of Cass so bad, man. The Yamaha broke down. This bush fashion is all this is. A little bit of redemption for Mama Bear. Feeling good about it. Oh. That is a heck of an angle, I'll tell you. <laughs> Look at this. Nee, 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 nee. Tapped out second gear or something. Nice. That gets squirrely there on the mud tires. All right, lead the way. Oh, yeah. Mama Bear's natural habitat, I must say. <laughs> this is cool though. For those of you wondering, this is Blackstrap. 
there's a park here, some crown land, a pretty popular fishing spot, that kind of thing. We got puppies. We got puppies. Hello puppers! Thank you! Gotta share the space! Gotta share the space! Hello! Going down. Ooh. What a view, eh? Check the outhouse. Right in my backyard. Huh. We were actually looking at a house in this area. A little far from work and such, but... <laughs> yeah, big mud tires and soft suspension. But something. He did promise me that there would be one slick, greasy hole, and he was right. Make a joke of that if you want. Just leave that down in the comment section. <laughs> I'm not doing it for you. It's PG-13 on this channel. Blackstrap Lake, I guess. This is what I'm used to, just dust in the face. Spot, though. If I ever have to do any like vehicle testing or something, I'm gonna do it here for sure. Some decent climbs. There's a gutter. Yeah. How steep is that? That doesn't look like a, <laughs> that doesn't look like I want to bring a mud quad up. For those of, if you guys can't hear him, he said his buddy didn't make it. <laughs> bottomed out on that one. Huh. I'd love to get like a 700 Raptor or a big old Banshee build. That's where this would shine. Yeah, some apple juice. Man should still be running. Not that it matters, it's all closed up now, but yeah, a little bit of redemption riding. We got some in, eh? I thought about it. Maybe. It's just mud quad doesn't do very good on stuff like that. Let's go down to the water. That's pretty well lit, but great little area if I want to test a vehicle, like I said. Nothing wrong with that. There. Wash up the hands a bit.
I've heard some pretty nasty things about this lake, but otherwise, good temperature. <laughs> yeah, if, if you don't shower right away, you'll get the itch. Oh, the itch? Yeah. Okay, well, I just washed my hands, I think, cool.